Thought for the day based on Friday the 1st of November, 2nd of Chronicles chapter 30, Daniel's chapter 10 and Acts chapter 10. The theme for this thought for the day is God is gracious and merciful. In the 2nd of Chronicles chapter 30 we have a wonderful testimony to the way God shows grace. Describing the events which led to this, Hezekiah had come to the throne in Jerusalem. His father, Ahaz, had been a wicked king. Hezekiah first restores the temple to make it fit for worship and reorganises and reconsecrates the priests, as we read in chapter 29 yesterday. A proclamation is made throughout the nation. This is also sent to the largely ungodly northern tribes, inviting them to come to Jerusalem to keep the Passover again. The king's message is, O people of Israel, return to the Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Israel, that he may turn again to the remnant of you. Do not be like your fathers and your brothers who were faithless to the Lord, so that he made them a desolation. Do not be now stiff-necked. His message continues. If you return to the Lord, your brothers and your children will find compassion. For the Lord, your God, is gracious and merciful. We read that couriers went from the city to city, but they laughed them to scorn and mocked them. However, some humbled themselves and came to Jerusalem. This was particularly the reaction of the godless northern tribes. But the hand of God was also on Judah to give them one heart to do what the king and the princes commanded by the word of the Lord. Very soon after this, the northern tribes of the kingdom were taken away to captivity by the Assyrians. Actually, just six years after Hezekiah came to the throne, See 2nd of Kings 17 verse 6 and compare 18 verse 1. Sadly, about 140 years later, the nation of Judah also became so godless that it suffered the same fate. This was at the hand of the Babylonians. We can see comparisons today. It has become commonplace to scorn and even mock at the message of God in the Bible. Let us make sure that we are among the few that so think and live to whom God is gracious and merciful because they trust his word as the only source of hope in a world that is increasingly experiencing his fierce anger. It may be that exceptional fierce and destructive events such as the weather, worse than anything previously experienced, illustrate this. Do we not see fire and hail, snow and mists, stormy wind fulfilling his word? Psalm 148 verse 8. In this situation, may the Lord be gracious and merciful to all who turn and humble themselves and seek to serve him in truth and righteousness, knowing that whoever does not practice righteousness in is not of God. 1 John 3 verse 10.